Yo, what's going on y'all? It's your boy Lolo. I know it has definitely been a minute since I posted a video. You guys are probably wondering where I'm at right now. You're probably wondering uh, why I haven't posted in a minute. Uh, well, to give you a short story, I'm in San Francisco. Uh, this is also the first time that I've actually technically vlogged outside. So definitely trying to get used to it a little bit more, uh, a little bit better. But yeah, I'm pretty much visiting a friend right now over here in San Fran. Uh, just wanted to spend a few days to come see him, check uh, check some stuff out. There's a lot of cool stuff that are about to happen in this video. So yeah, let's go get some stuff because I'm pretty hungry. That's the way every day goes, every time we've no control. If the sky is pink and white, if the ground is black and yellow, it's the same way you showed me. Nod my head, don't close my eyes, halfway on a slow move. Alright, it is type sunny over here, so if this is overexposed, just recognize that I'll try to change it later um, but yeah I'm over here in Rincon Park Bay Bridge I don't know if you guys can see that got my food over here just enjoying the time it's definitely beautiful over here I think the weather is honestly really amazing but I was like nah this this is actually fire it's some coconut curry wrap with quinoa uh, and it's on like a like a wheat bun or like a like a wheat tortilla but I hope that video wasn't focused, but if not, man, I'll just tell y'all, this is amazing. This is this is actually incredible. I've never had anything like this, so this is definitely dope. But it's only like 10 bucks, so not too bad, right? Long story short, you know, I was unfortunately let go from my job as a software engineer, which, you know, happens, I feel like, uh, especially with the way the tech world is going right now, you know, something that you can always foresee and something that you can always kind of expect. But my outfit on it is, you know, to just look forward, you know, to the bigger, and the better things that are gonna head up my way, you know. I'm trying to be as transparent as possible and, you know, talk to you guys when, you know, situations like this happens. Well, obviously, I didn't want something like this to happen. I really, really enjoyed my career and especially my company, but um, I feel like at the end of the day, you know, I grew a lot from that company. I gained a ton of knowledge, so, you know, can't complain, right, at all. It's actually crazy. This is, um, this is like the land of software engineers, like, you know, the tech mecca. I low-key just wanna, you know, walk into a coffee shop and start airdropping my freaking resume everywhere like crazy it would be hilarious but i feel like i might get some hits you know but yeah we'll, we'll just have to see i'm just gonna enjoy my time for the time being it's the same way you showed me if you could fly then you'd feel south up north getting cold soon the way it is we're on land so i'm someone i hold true keep you cool when it's still alive won't let you down when it's all ruined just the same way you showed me all right y'all ain't that a view right there that is absolutely insane that looks you know just beautiful i'm over here still in san fran on pier 14 somewhere no idea really where i am but uh yeah i just wanted to come over here and talk to you guys a little bit more the people at the bottom of the totem pole we're pretty much the first to go unfortunately that was me I, I genuinely did really love my job. I really did love my company. But one of the things that I've honestly really enjoyed so far about tech is the transparency and, you know, I guess different lifestyle that, you know, I've been able to live. I guess all the opportunities that I've been able to have so far. So I really am truthfully so appreciative of my previous company, of everything that I was building over there. I think that we were able to do some really good work, which I'm always thankful for. And I definitely highly encourage you guys to continue to in the positions that you're at make solid connections build a solid network because you never know when those people are gonna you know reach back out to you or even be of any subsistence in your own path i'm kind of just sitting over here you know reflecting on everything that tech has really brought to my life so far and, and i'm really am so thankful that you know even though i did you know lose my job that i still have the opportunity that i had to work at a great company and and honestly what everyone says is very very true about once you get your first job you you really are in the door because now like you know I, I i find it a lot easier you know to get interviews now i'm you know currently interviewing with a couple companies and i think that that experience that i gained in my last company is just so valuable and i know for a fact that a lot of recruiters a lot of hiring managers are really going to like that type of you know that i worked for a company, you know, have actual experience under my belt. And that's already something that I genuinely see helping me a ton. In the grand scheme of things, y'all, it sucks, I'm not gonna lie, it definitely sucks. What ended up happening is, you know, since I was supposed to move to Denver on October 28th, had my whole videos and stuff planned, but unfortunately I got let go on the 27th. So 
you know, me and my roommate kind of decided that it was the best, you know, smartest and financial decision to not, uh, you know, to not move to Denver. You feel me? Just kind of play the waiting game like we did before, wait a couple months, you know, hear some things out, and then once I get a job, then we'll plan on moving over there. I took a ton of B-roll, so hopefully, hopefully that footage uh, will come to great use in the future. For like a life update, life is actually going really, really good besides, you know, this. Just trying to take in everything and every moment uh, that I have right now, because you know I really haven't been, uh, I guess, slowing down pace, and this is the first time I've really slowed down pace. I definitely think this trip is going to be good for me. Uh, we're going to go snowboarding, hiking. I've never been snowboarding before, so that'll be super dope. Of a summer shade, nose dive in the flood lines, tall tower, milk craze. It's the same way you showed me. Cannonball off the porch side, older kids trying off the roof. Just the same way you showed me. You showed if you could die and come back to life, up for air from the swimming pool. You so much colder because my windshield was frozen in the morning. And you have to like wipe it off? No, like I could, I literally couldn't drive with it, so I had to turn on the What's going on? It's your boy Lolo. This is day two of the trip. This is my boy Quack. I don't know if you remember him, but he, he was in a couple of videos a long, long time ago. Maybe about like four, maybe like four years ago, something like that in my skydiving video. But yeah, we're about to get the day going on. This is, this is about to be super sick. I'm, I'm very pumped. I've never been snowboarding, but obviously I just talked about it the other day. I've been wanting to do it since I was a little kid. So... <laughs> Let's go, man. God, I'm, you got I'm, I'm it. Hype, yeah. You got it. It is. It is like 21 degrees out here. Obviously, I'm from Houston, so I've never been in shit like this before. But <laughs> yeah, we'll have to get it going. Yeah, that's insane. All right, let's go hit the slopes. <laughs> got over here to the parking lot there's a ton of people over here this is actually kind of crazy because we thought we were getting here super early but there's definitely a lot of people that already beat us to the punch but the slopes don't open till about 8 30 and it's only like 7 44 right now yeah this actually looks insane we're about to park right now get our stuff ready it's super bad outside but uh this is this is gonna be really cool the snow looks super fresh doing good man we got powder on the mountain it's looking nice Look at that mountain, dude! Yo! Hell yeah, What's bro. up? What's going on, bro? <laughs> I'm stoked. Yeah, it's gonna be sick, bro. My uncle's sister knows she raised a real one, ill one. It's been 30 minutes, I don't feel none. Oh shit, wait a minute. There you go. I'm gonna feel some. Where you get this motherfucking pill from? Heard they got some sanctions on my name. Heard they plotting on my name. Heard they banking on my name. I got leader in this bitch and he might spank it on a lane. I'm just what in the cut, throwing Frank is on her friend. I'm a, hey, I'm a gentleman, I'm generous. I blow a half a million on you hoes. I'm a feminist. I never put no prices on the beef until we end the shit. I pay a half a million for his soul. He my nemesis. On that bullshit, okay. 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 On that bullshit. We on out of bullshit, okay. On that bullshit. through the day got some burgers they look really really good this is my like fifth burger in the week i was clocking i just had burgers last night but i mean the burgers look good so can't complain so it's 7 20 in the morning we woke up at about 5 50 and we're on our way to yosemite right now got some breakfast at the hotel this guy killed me over here yesterday i literally actually i actually woke up bruised i didn't think it was gonna happen but it's uh Fun time, right? But yeah, so we're on our, on our way to Yosemite right now. That shit definitely go. Gotta get 
it how you did, man. Everybody talking about yeah. R&B shit. I'm just talking me shit. You know me? Give me that. I gave it all for fantasy. Is anybody gonna remember me? If I go tonight, I doubt the world'll change. I just pray they don't forget my name. Always been a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. Things seem to always work themselves out. And I can't say truthfully that I've really been enjoying losing what I worked so hard to attain over the past year. But I can't be mad. I learned so much and at the end of the day, I really wouldn't be doing myself justice if I wasn't looking at the big picture. I'll get another job. It will happen. As one journey closes and another opens, I'm thankful for the time I had at my first engineering company. And I'm excited to see what the journey ahead looks like.